This drug addict in Afghanistan's central province of Daikundi has been brought to tears after being beaten by the Taliban. We don't want anything. Don't put salt on our wounds. We don't want anything from this government. Just don't beat us. His case is not uncommon. Taliban forces are reported to be violently arresting drug addicts in several provinces, rounding them up for what they say are rehabilitation admissions. Witnesses say they stomp on drug users, kick their feet, and push them into police trucks. Videos of the arrests are shot by the media under strict supervision by the Taliban. Several drug users have died because of the beatings, says this addict, who adds it is unclear who is in charge. There are 200 groups of them. I have no idea who is government and who is not. Different people come to us every day. One day, a young boy is beating us. The next day, an old man. Sometimes a gunman is beating us. Sometimes a shepherd. In the Paktia area of southeastern Afghanistan, Esanullah and Hamid Gul say they are victims of Taliban brutality. I was here sitting. They came and hit me with an AK-47 and broke my nose. The Taliban came and they blinded my eye. I lost my vision. While local Taliban authorities in Daikundi and Paktia provinces admit to occasionally using force, they deny this is abuse. They get scared of us thinking that we are arresting them, but that's not true. Thank God we treat them well. We collect them with care, bring them to the office, and then send them for treatment. After the Taliban seized power last August, they began rounding up addicts and transporting them to rehab centers. They say they have admitted over 5,000 drug addicts for treatment. But following the U.S. withdrawal after the Taliban's victory, the number of treatment centers has been cut in half. Just 40 of 88 drug treatment centers are still open and suffer from medication shortages and financial strain. Afghanistan is the biggest opium producer in the world, and more than three million people there are estimated to be addicted to the drug. For Latif Yakubi in Afghanistan, Ann Ball, VOA News.